it's a really 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 good one y'all welcome a lot of fishing tv here we have the final yet different approach on the review of the cat max reel okay so i bought these reels in the beginning of the season i have done the review on them once before but it was a review on look and style and hoping that i can get some feedback on how good they were but i must say that i am impressed with the overall results of this reel but before i go any farther i would like to show you a couple videos of me catching fish using the bait cast reel all right you got another fish i'm actually using uh cut white bass i caught 11 of them so i started to use them for some cut bait by the way it's, it's beautiful outside y'all very beautiful Yep, there we go. A good, nice, hungry male channel cat. Look at that. He wanted that cut bait, and he got what he asked for. That's a nice cat right there. That's a nice cat. That's a real nice cat. That's a real nice cat, y'all. All right, I got another fish. Ooh, he ain't pulling drag, too. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Another flathead. Oh. Come on. Come on. He tried to pull some drag on me. You hear that, right? He peeled some drag. But he should be coming up real. Yep, there you go. Another flathead. Oh yeah. He's he's bigger. He's bigger. Come on, fella. I don't want to fall in the water either. Oh, oh, God. You gotta let him take the track. <laughs> it's kind of difficult getting him up here sometime. Come on, guy. I might have to put my foot in the water. Come on. No, oh, come on. Got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Second flat hit of the night. <laughs> oh beauty what a beauty this got to be about 20 pounds maybe oh man 13 pounds bigger than the last one uh, all right guys stay tuned oh <laughs> he's off to the races all right let's see what else we can get okay so here are the main features of the cat max reel there are four bar bearings the weight of this reel is 12 ounces max drag 15 pounds for the line capacity, mono goes up to 20 pounds for 150 yards and braided line goes up to 65 for 190 yards. Then we have the IPT, which is inches per turn. It's 25 inches, which means every time you turn your knob once, that is 25 inches the line is coming back to you. Gear ratio, 5, 2 to 1. There are your main features. Okay, so now that we are done watching the videos, I would like to talk about the pros, cons, and features that can be added to this reel. Starting off with pros, durability, size, smooth cast, then cons, small knobs, low sound clicker, max drag, and then features that can be added to this reel, bigger knob, thumb locator, loud clicker. The Cat Max reel is most definitely a durable reel. I have left it in sand, dirt, rain, I mean, on rocks, and it still shows the great progress that it does to this day. I, mean, I had it for almost a year now, and it's showing me good signs. So the durability is most definitely key to this product. Um, the size of the reel is also nice. It's always good to have a reel that you can bring around that's not so bulky that you can still have the durability that's compared to the smaller size, which is 12 ounces. And yes, there are reels that's small as that and smaller, but 12 ounces is like perfect. It's not too big and it's not too small. So kudos to that. Smooth cast is by far the greatest thing about this reel for me. Like I love the way it's cast. I never had an issue with it tang tangling up. The tension of the reel is easy to set. And everything else about it is A1. So those are most definitely my pros about this reel. Now as far as cons, 
um, which are not even really big deals, the small knobs, the low sounding clicker, and the max drag will be those three cons that I have mentioned. But the small knobs can be just adjusted just a little bit bigger. I mean, sometimes it do kind of hurt your wrist a little bit more when you have to grab the smaller handles, handle knobs to reel. And then the low sounding clicker, which is a real big deal for me because I can't stand using bells and lights, even though they are very easy to use. It's just if I have a clicker, I can be able to hear the sound of my reels going off when the fish bites. And that really does wonder for me because sometimes I've been out there talking with friends and fishing and I didn't notice that the clicker was going off. The only way I found out is somebody sitting next to the reel and they can hear it. And as far as the max drag, the max drag is 15 pounds. Now, there's nothing wrong with the 15 pounds. It's just when you get caught in a snag, if you are a bank fisherman, most definitely, you will get those times where you're trying to get that hook or your weight sinker out of a snag. And it's real tough to do so because of how the drag is only 15 pounds. Now, it is good for fish. You can actually haul in a nice giant fish with 15-pound drag. Believe me, I know. But it does do something with the agony <laughs> of your mind like when it's just stuck and you can't get it out and there are ways to get it out like if you know you are stuck you can actually take a stick and twist the stick around your line and make sure you twist until you till it's real tight and then you can pull the stick backwards with the line wrapped on there and then you can get it off or what you can do is if you have long sleeves on you can wrap the line around your cloth that's on your clothing and then you can pull from there yes you may get your tackle back but then again you may get it come you know back broke but that's not a big deal either that is i mean it's just it, it, maybe if it was like three pounds you know heavier then it'd be uh much of a deal but those are just the small cons those are nothing that's really like tearing up this reel at all it doesn't make it a less efficient reel because of those three things obviously but features that can be added is the bigger knobs, obviously. Um, the thumb locator. Now, what I mean by thumb locator is somewhere that I can actually place my thumb on the reel so that I won't have to figure out where to hold it. Because, like, if I'm fishing on a bank, I will have to be casting, you know, reeling the fish in a little bit different and then casting uh, a little bit different. But I would like to have somewhere I can place my thumb. That way my hands won't be, you know, awkward when I'm casting or reeling in a fish now a louder clicker yeah that it's not like i said it's not a deal breaker for this reel at all a louder clicker will work it, it will do wonders i mean that way i can hear it and i won't have to worry about somebody else hearing it or a fish didn't get off the hook by the time i got to it because i didn't hear it like it, it, it it's lower compared to a lot of reels but it's still not a deal breaker. It is an awesome reel. So I suggest anybody who's really looking for a reel that's cheap, get it. I can never tell you nothing different. Like, this reel is definitely A1. Three little small cons do not tear up the reel. Trust me. Some of the best products in the world have some cons. You got to remember, it is to each his own. But like I said, you got to love fishing so once again y'all here i have a short review on the cat max reel and most definitely a great product so what i need for you to do is get out there keep money in your pocket get a reel that works for you trust me you will love the cat max reel it is most definitely a product worth buying trust me if i would give it a grade i would give it most definitely an a minus trust me an a minus is pretty good for products because there are so many different uh, fishing products out there in the market so like i said y'all there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing see you next time hey looking for more content well please subscribe also like us on facebook and always remember there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing thank you for watching